Okay, I've been asked to do a in-hangar tutorial on ammunition and other things that you may need for your planes. Um, to give a brief overview on the various planes that I have, I have on every single one of my planes put my little alpha sticker because I'm proud that I was in the alpha test, yada yada yada. Um, but I've also, if you notice, on all of my premium planes I have gone through even the Pegasus, and giving them a paint job. This is just to remind myself that I don't want to sell any of these, and uh, just to keep them. I haven't done them on all, but it's uh, not a big deal with the paint. As you can see, I have plenty of planes at this point, and slots and all of that. Uh, but this was going to be about how I load up ammo on my planes. So let's take, for instance, the P-51A. Tier 6 American Fighter. I have it currently completely upgraded, except for the 51D, uh, where I need actually uh, like two or three more battles at most, and I'll have that unlocked. Um, the ammunition that I use on my planes, and you'll find this throughout the entire series of planes that I have, kind of go with a lot of the planes just have one type of um, for gold slash silver ammo. Premium ammo is what I'm going to call it. And uh, I'll buy that right up until tier 6. If you have a premium account and a couple of premium planes, right up until tier 6 you can easily make money while flying with premium ammo in your planes. Um, if you don't have a premium account, this is a little, little bit more difficult uh, as you'll see. Um, some of my planes I run with the gasoline some I do not. Um, let's go check some of my lower tier planes. Uh, for instance, the I-5. Uh, this is a tier 1 plane that I have actually... Um, this is the free paint. If you go through your planes, and if you were in the beta, you have the ability of getting the gift emblems, or the gift symbols. Um, I don't know that there's any nose art that's on it. And then uh, you can just put them on, which is really nice. Uh, but if we look at what I run on these for service, you'll see that, yes, I do the armor piercing incendiary, and that is the only ammo available for this plane. Uh, but I run the three manual things, the, the first aid, the pneumatic restarter, and the fire extinguishers. These you only have to replace if you use them. That means that if I don't get engine damage, I don't use it. I'm not spending that 5,000 that match. I do find it very much worthwhile having this on every last plane. And this includes even the Pegasus, uh, taking engine damage, getting a fire, whatever. It is worth going through and stopping that. Now let's go to some of the planes that perhaps have multiple choices on the type of ammunition to use. Uh, the 109Z, I believe, has the option of high explosive and solid core armor piercing. Now I do a couple of choices in this. My idea is that I want to rely on the best damage per second that I can and um, not rely on fire. Fire is, uh, is not necessarily going to occur in any given second. Yes, it's useful, and I will certainly use the armor-piercing incendiary if it's the only silver ammo. Uh, or I'm sorry, only gold ammo. Uh, but in the instances where it's like a choice between high explosive, which gives you 152.26 to 253 to 0.56 DPS, and adding 10 DPS to that by going the solid core armor piercing, uh, I'll put aside the 10% chance of fire, and I will go with the solid core armor piercing. Solid core armor piercing will hit further out. Uh, so it's good for solid sniping shots, but it also is really good in up close. Uh, incendiary ammo loses a little bit of its um, damage at range, giving you a closer uh, chance of fire when you're up close. And uh, this one, you can see I do run the gasoline in it, 
uh, mainly because I don't yet have the engine upgrades, which is quite a bit of horsepower. Um, one, by the time I get the, the engine upgrades, I'll get another thousand horsepower out of this. So getting that extra 5% is definitely useful. If we check out some of the other fighters, such as the Spitfire, which is my cursed plane, um, you will see that in this, I am using the high explosive incendiary. This was a choice I made based on this plane specifically. Uh, the I went for the chance of fire in it. Even though this has 10 less DPS, I went with the chance of fire because this is a plane that you want to get in really close. You want to be firing when they are within um, 1,500 feet or 500 meters. And the ammo does good or does better at the short ranges. And uh, the chance of fire is good because with the twisting and turning and stuff that you're doing, you're not getting big hits in on the enemy. And lighting them up and having them burn down a little bit is quite useful. Uh, it is expensive ammunition. And I have actually considered switching this over just to the high explosive. And I've switched back and forth, and I've come to like the high explosive incendiary on this specific plane. But I will say this specific plane is my worst plane. So maybe my advice on it is not the best. Um, I have a 39% win rate in it, which is nothing to be happy about. 70 battles participated, only 98 kills. So uh, 98 kills, 33 assists. So it's not a huge, great plane for me. So. Perhaps we should switch over to one that I do a little bit better on. So if we check my service record, um, the 410, uh, the 210, let's see, the Frederick. I enjoyed my Frederick. That one I might not end up selling. Um, but if we go check out, for instance, Fred, I am running solid core armor piercing, higher damage. Armor piercing incendiary, it's the only one available, and solid core armor piercing again, higher damage for sniping. The other turn fighter that I ha would have would be the A6M5. This one I have armor piercing incendiary as opposed to the high explosive incendiary. More damage, it does have the ability to catch him on fire because it is armor piercing incendiary, uh, but both of those are the same for that. So, that's it. I mean, in general, if you look at a plane that has lots of options for its ammunition, uh, I generally go for the one that's going to reach out further and be more effective at range versus the ammunition that is going to be closer, high explosive, big crits. Um, so, in general, look at that damage per second. Ignore the chance of fire. Look at the damage per second. Set up the, dam the highest damage per second that you can afford, uh, whether it's armor piercing or solid core armor piercing or high explosive incendiary. Whatever's got the highest damage per second that you can reasonably expect to make silver with each match, that should be the am ammunition that you're using. So, with that said, let's check out the service on some of the other planes here, armor piercing incendiary, clearly. Um, if we go to upgrades, you'll see that some of my planes have upgrades available. For instance, the tier 1 and 2, these are really inexpensive. If you're going to keep the plane, may as well throw the optical sight and the reinforced covering. On a lot of the low tier planes, you're going to see that that's all that is available for the upgrades, is the sight and reinforced covering. Uh, that's true from the I-5. Uh, but then you start getting to the other planes. Um, this is my go-to selection. The reflector sight, the reinforced covering, which protects the, re the damage to wings, fuselage, and tail, which essentially allows you to keep your maneuverability and the aircraft polish. 
I carry on a lot of my flights, or on a lot of my planes, the med kit, so I'm able to restore the health. So I don't worry as much about the other portion, uh, the, the plexiglass to protect my pilot. I can always bring him back to life with a little uh, med kit love. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. The I'm For the upgrades, again, I use the same thing across the board. There's, there's no, I, I don't see a reason on any of this to use anything except for um, the armor plates. Actually, the armor plates, which, which one does this do? I don't know why I have armor plates on this one. Um, but that's it. Uh, the, the, the three that I gave you are what I use. Um, aircraft polish, I guess armor plates is what does the, uh, the resistance to damage. So, uh, just whatever will re help your plane survive is what you want to do. And, and that's speed, that's the ability to aim more, and the ability not to take the damage. So, uh, that's it guys. You asked for this one, so you've got it. Have a great day.